I have a great family. I love my wife. I love my son. He is my world. I live for him. I breathe for him. I want this relationship to work extremely bad, but I just can't keep going on not knowing the truth. Teddy and I are here because I caught her in a few lies a while back. Found out she was hanging out with her ex-boyfriend. She says she's never cheated on me, that they just hung out and it was, that's it. Her mannerisms, her normal behaviors, they're not the same. When you love somebody, you can tell when they're being themselves and when they're being out of character. This has affected our marriage extremely. Even at work, I can't focus if I'm worried about what she's doing. One day I came home from work and when I pulled up to the house and jumped out of my truck, she came running out the front door and act surprised to see me. And also that time the back door was unlocked, uh, wide open, the slider. I think that means that she could have snuck somebody out of the back. There was a time I put a recording device under the bed and I recorded her while I was gone away at work. When I got home, we listened to the recording. In the recording, it sounded like two people having sex. She agreed with me, um, but denied that it was her. After that is when she began to say, put recordings in the, in the house, you know, put cameras in the house, put trackers on my phone, do all of this. I had two recordings that sounded like her having sex, and mysteriously, the night before we were set to come here, they came up missing. I think she went and deleted them. If she failed the test, I would feel like my entire life was taken away from me. Everything I lived for. Being hurt wouldn't explain it. it I wouldn't be hurt, I would be completely destroyed. That is my soulmate. It's not just my husband. It is my soulmate. And he, because of a mistake that I made uh, a few months before we got married, I lied to him. Um, I'm so sorry. I lied to him about hanging out with an ex. He worked all the time, got this wonderful job, good paying. He said, hey, baby, you don't have to work. I want you to stay home, and when I get home, I just want you to greet me. That's, that's what I love. And that's what I did. Around the house, you can only do so much. Yeah, after so many days, it gets boring, and I, I ended up calling my ex just simply to hang out, somebody to talk to, because there No girlfriends? No, no. Not one girlfriend? No. Okay, that, 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 I mean, come on. Who doesn't have one girlfriend? I, I really don't. I really cut contact with everyone, literally, because- But did you cut contact with the ex-boyfriend too? I did. Right, but you I called him. I did. Well, the thing is, I literally, when I, I got rid of all the numbers, I got rid of just a different phone, different number, right. and his phone number was on top of my mind. That was the only number I could remember. <laughs> and Literally. so he came over and you hung out? Uh, we met up at the mall. Yeah, and what'd you do? We just literally, we just walked around and talked. We talked about just people that we've known, what, he, what he's been went to, up to, what I've been up to. And he didn't expect I, any romance out of this? No, not at all. And I, <laughs> no, I, and I told him too. And I said, I love my husband very much. But, but he wasn't um, your husband at the time. No, he was my fiance. Yeah. Yeah. But I told him all about it and and that was that. And then how did your husband or future husband find out that you hung out with the ex? Well, my ex called my phone. Even though I had told him Don't call don't during this call time. Him. Yes. And nothing I, happened between the two of you. I no, nothing at all. And I told him not to call it, and he ended up calling it. My husband was, he had taken a day off work, and he was sitting right next to me. And I pretended like I didn't know who it was when I answered, and <laughs> hung up. And when my husband went outside, because he, and mind you, that month of me hiding the times that I have had hung right. out with my ex, my husband could sense that there was something funny going on, and he would confront me about it, 
and I'm not. So you were acting differently much. because you were seeing your ex. Say that one more time. You were acting differently because you were seeing your ex. Yes. Right. Well, I saw him three times. I wasn't seeing him. It's well, you were like, you were seeing him in person. Yes. I could never pick the right time to tell him because then the days pass and I'm and we're you know everything's going great between us and then am I gonna just break out and tell him this and now you know our relationship's going nice so he was perfect. pretty mad though when he found out oh he was livid yeah but you still got married yes because we love each other very much he is my soulmate he is the person that I want to be with the right. rest of my life did you encourage him to put the recording device in your home right yes I why why'd you do that why? Because yeah. I have nothing to hide. Yeah, but I'm if you, if, I mean, that's, that's like saying, oh, put the recording device, this will prove that I'm not doing anything. Well, you know the recording device is there. Why? It's not like you're going to bring a guy in. But you see, he actually did it before. Like after, I mean, yeah, he did it before. He before had you been, told him Yeah, to. he had already been doing it. But I said I didn't only tell him to put and he cameras says and that, recordings. And I he, told him He says he sounds like, like you're having sex with somebody, right? Yes. Were you having yeah, sex with someone? Absolutely not. And before I listened to it... I don't know why, and you seem like a very nice person, but I, I gotta be honest, I hope you fail this lie detector test for some reason. Like... Yes, I am so sick of it. I am so done with it. I'm done with it, too. I am so done with I'm it. Done with I am not... Lies. I am not a liar. I have told you so... I don't so believe you. Steve doesn't seem to believe you, either. <laughs> That's they don't seem to believe you either. Um, if, you, if you didn't trust her, why did you marry her? Because together we are very natural. Uh, Not anymore, though. No, we are. We f this is what we fight about. That's what if, it. But you, um, if you, do you so, really believe that you heard your wife having sex with somebody else on that tape? I, I do. As of right now, I do believe that. Right. And if you believe that your wife had sex with somebody else in a short, you haven't even been married a year yet, why are you with her? People can change. Getting married might not change it, but her choice to change it could change. Question there. Yeah, it, yeah or it would have been, or it's a good move. The breaking down I, crying, that always works. I just don't know what to believe. Right. So, players are players, and I mean, but they're good actors. But I have actors. been telling the truth for so long. For so long, I've tried to prove it to you so many times. Well, this is the best way to prove it. Throughout my entire that is. pregnancy. Um, uh, just so you know, there's never been any question about any uh, lying or cheating on his part, so that's why we didn't test him. I we only tested you. Yes, and I have never questioned him. Okay, right, that's, that's why we didn't test him. Seems like a nice guy. He is. He's a wonderful guy. All right. Teddy came in. She took a lie detector test. A, l a year of hell, fighting, <laughs> questioning. And we asked her, while in a relationship with Darius, have you had sexual contact with any other men besides him? She said no. While in a relationship with Darius, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides him? You better be telling the truth. <laughs> She's so cool, man. Look at her. <laughs> she said no. And the results for Miss Cool, AKA Teddy, is that she told the truth. glad for you because you, you know you're married you have a child you one one mistake caused you your year of hell right a, 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 a lie absolutely right and if, if it's your soulmate then you should be able to tell them everything right yes all right good luck exactly. congratulations thank you so much Steve. Nice to meet you. Thank you. good luck to you
I was raped. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.